patriarchs of Genesis point us to Jesus. They give us hints, they give us cues and clues on what the Christ is going to be, how he is going to do, and what he is going to do. So in today's episode, we take a look at one of those patriarchs nearing the end of the book of Genesis that many people have heard of because his story is quite remarkable, that of Joseph. Joseph, a child of Israel, a child of Jacob, the firstborn son of his favorite wife. And so he is the favorite son of Israel, the favorite chosen one of all of the 12 sons of Israel is Joseph. But from the top, Joseph falls to the bottom. His brothers betray him. Those around him, those nearest to him, betray him and sell him into slavery. But yet in that slavery, he is raised up from the depths. He is brought up again as the overseer of the house of Potiphar, resurrected to a place and a position of honor once more. For a while, until Potiphar's wife betrays him, sells him out, and accuses him of a crime. So he is imprisoned once more, brought down to the depths in in the, the harshest of prisons known to Egypt. Yet it is there that he is raised up by God. He is brought up again. He is given another, a new life, another chance as he is put in charge of the prisoners in the prison. He becomes not quite the overseer, but one who is given special authority there until he is raised up even more. He is brought up even higher, ascended to the right hand of Pharaoh to overcome that evil which has been done to him. He is placed in a position of glory and honor to save the people of Israel, to save the tribes, to save the church. So Jesus comes to save. Jesus comes and is betrayed by those who are closest to him, betrayed even by one of his twelve apostles, enslaved, condemned, crucified. But he does it to overcome the evil. He does it to overcome the slavery and the imprisonment. He does it even to overcome the hell, and he's going to do it by being raised up. Joseph raised up again and again. Jesus is going to be raised up for you. He will even ascend into heaven to be seated in glory for you in order to save his church, his people, even you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.